Tyree Carroll was killed last week in Lower Mosby, a neighborhood he grew up in. The accused killer, a 17-year-old boy from Henrico County. Family and friends left wondering why. Too many guns, too much beef. Praying for a vicious cycle of violence to come to an end. Too many of our loved ones have been taken away from us. At Lux Field in the city's east end, just a few blocks from where Tyree Carroll, a father of seven, was killed last week. Everybody's crushed. A grieving mother trying to find the words. I'm past hurt. It's not a word for what I'm feeling. To ease the pain she's felt every day since his death. To get that phone call. To get that phone call, you know. That's something I never was looking for. I was never prepared for it. Carol, a convicted felon, was back in Lower Mosby after a stent in lockup. His mom says he came back here because he knew people and was trying to be a better dad for his kids. Crime Insider sources say major crimes detectives have seen a few cases this year where someone who's been released from prison comes back to their original community only to be murdered. I answered my call while I was in prison. What was on my mind is to come out and make change. How can I come out and, and be an addition to my neighborhood and not a subtraction, not going back to the same thing? But it starts with a mindset. And part of Pastor Antoine Prince's mindset was to leave his old community behind and have a change of scenery. He also says it's up to men in some of Richmond's most impoverished neighborhoods to step up and be mentors for the younger generation. A group of kids, he fears, are following a wrong and deadly path. It's like no restraint. And I hate to use scripture, but the Bible said where there's no vision, the people perish or the people cast off restraint. We don't, they have no vision. They they don't see anything different. They don't see what they could become. They don't see no future. They don't see a life ahead. It's like we're living day by day. Carol has a large extended family and a lot of friends. More than 100 came to the East End tonight to pay their respects.